Welcome to the Men of Iron Podcast. My name is Scott Davis. I'm coming to you from Tampa Bay, Florida, where I get the privilege and honor to serve as an iron rep for Men of Iron. I joined the team back in October of 2022, and I'm super excited to share with you on this podcast throughout the month of May. So tune in every Monday through the month of May. If you haven't already followed us on this podcast or subscribed, go ahead and do that now and go ahead and share it. Share it with someone, especially if yourself or someone you know struggles with the topic of solitude. You know, the spiritual discipline of getting away and getting quiet. Sometimes we call it a time of retreat or just getting out of the mix or off the grid, whatever you want to call it. But I'll be diving down deep into what all this means here on this podcast throughout the month of May. So let's start off with what solitude means. I found a definition that reads like this. Solitude is not merely when you're alone, but you have deliberately separated yourself from others. It's an intentional withdrawal from social engagement to have quietness of soul. Pastor and writer A.W. Tozer once made this statement. He said, we Christians must simplify our lives or lose untold treasures on earth and in eternity. Modern civilization is so complex as to make the devotional life all but impossible. The need for solitude and quietness has never been greater than it is today. Wow. A.W. Tozer died in 1963, and he made that statement before that. So what do you think he would say about our world today? Man, with the Internet and social media, it is harder and harder to get away and have quiet. I mean, real quiet. Sometimes I'll get away and go up to my brother's cabin in North Georgia And I joke around with people. At the time, I was living in Atlanta. So when I would drive up there, I'd joke around and say, man, it takes me three days just to stop vibrating, coming out of the busyness of life. And isn't that it? I mean, that's usually the excuse we always make is I'm busy. I'm way too busy for that. I can't, I I don't have time to go just sit and be quiet. And we'll say things like, I'm so busy right now in this season. And then one day we realize that it's not a season at all. It's actually the life we've become accustomed to, which is a scary thing, man. We get used to being so busy. And it's amazing that most of the time it takes something serious or even severe or traumatic for us to realize that things have got to change. I know I've even said statements like, I wish God would just tell me what He wants from me, tell me what my purpose is. I wish I could just hear His voice saying to me where to go, what decisions to make, what to do. And you know, I truly believe that all of us can know this, all these things. Um, it's possible. It's certainly possible for us to know this. And yet somehow, it always seems to escape us of how to make it happen. But in all of my experience in life, I can tell you one thing for sure. God absolutely wants us to know all of these things more than we want to know these things ourselves. I found out this to be true. What we need most is what we avoid most. Think about that statement. What we need most is usually what we avoid most. And thinking about this in the context of even getting physically fit, right? We know what we need to do. We need to eat healthy food, get regular exercise, get plenty of rest and drink lots of water. But what do we continue to do? (laughs) Most of the time, we continue to just eat conveniently, which means unhealthy foods usually. We make excuses of why we don't have time to exercise daily we don't get enough rest and we end up not drinking enough water so you see where this is going i heard a preacher recently say if you're too busy for a time with god and solitude it's your own fault you make your own schedule you're the one who continues to say yes to everyone else's request they put on you and pressures and responsibilities 
I remember back in Bible college, one of my professors used to say, if you don't set your schedule, someone else will. You can count on it. He would also tell us, you can organize or agonize. You decide. But to be organized and to set your own schedule means you have to take an inventory of your own priorities. And that's hard to do, isn't it? I mean, sometimes we have so many things in our life that we do just because we think someone won't like us if we don't do it or they'll be disappointed in us or they'll say things about us. Well, listen, if you're feeling this way and you're making those statements, you're on the path that's going to cost you. And for some of you, it's already costing you probably time, sometimes even your physical health and maybe even your own relationships of, of people that you really love. So what makes me such an expert on this topic, you may ask? Well, it's because not too long ago, I was dangerously close to being burnt out. But God saved me from a total crash by taking all the frustration and anxiety away from me. It was in a time of retreat away from everything and everyone that became one of the most biggest blessings of my life. I had become so consumed by all I had to do. Did you get that? All I had to do that I completely forgot the one who can bring peace and power through his presence and hearing of his voice. And through this time of solitude and retreat, I slowly began to hear God's voice again clearly. And then during that time, he even showed me a vision. And this ultimately led me to join the team of men of iron and live out my purpose and his plan for my life. But it was only when I became intentional again about listening to God and spending time with Him. But as men, we're fixers, we're workers, we're movers, we're shakers, right? We always have to be doing something. We always have to be helping something. We, we think that if we work harder, move faster, and just grind it out, that it's all going to be okay, and then we'll have time to rest. But all the fast-paced work and the strife only takes us further and further away from the truth, Jesus. I'm not saying that hard work and grinding out is always a wrong or bad thing, but I am saying that if you're doing all that stuff and grinding, working, and moving fast, and you're doing all this without regular times of solitude and retreat, man, that, that's absolutely wrong on so many levels, and we end up paying for it. So there's a picture of this in the Bible, actually, of both these situations. It's a story about two friends of Jesus named Mary and Martha. In Luke chapter 10, verse 38 through 41, Martha and Mary are preparing for Jesus' visit. And it says that Martha's running around with all these distractions going here and there, trying to make preparations. She's busy, busy, busy. Even when Jesus shows up, she's still busy. And then she gets mad at Mary, her sister, because Mary's sitting at Jesus' feet just listening to Jesus talk. Get that? She's just sitting there listening to Jesus. And what does Martha do? Martha goes in and goes, Jesus, Tell my sister to get up and help me. Don't you even care that I'm doing everything by myself? And of course, Jesus says, Martha, Martha, Mary has chosen the best thing. You're distracted about many, many things, but Mary has chosen the best part. So even Jesus says that there's only one thing needed. <laughs> Indeed, only one thing and that was to be with him and listen to him. And we, we need action steps as men to do this because otherwise we won't become the healthy man, the balanced man, the spiritual man, the leader, the inspired man with godly disciplines in our life. We can't get there without this discipline of solitude. You see, the enemy knows, he knows us very well. He watches us. We have to be on guard every day, and to do that, we need to refocus and reprioritize our life through times of solitude. The secret to accomplishing all these things is getting away, getting quiet at a time of retreat and solitude and focus, intentional solitude. 
It has to happen for us to slow down to hear from God and become the husband and the father, the brother, the friend, just the man that God has created us to be. We can accomplish nothing without Jesus. Even Jesus himself said that in John 15, 5, apart from me, you can do nothing. <laughs> nothing. Get that? That means nothing. So that should be a stark wake up for some of us. And so I'm going to help you right here. I'm going to give you some action steps that you can do this week between today and next Monday. I want you to get on the uh, Men of Iron website, menofiron.org, and I want you to click on the free resources button. I want you to sign up for a, a video series called A Man's Game Plan. See, guys, we've got to have a game plan. I want you to watch that first video when it's sent to you via email. It's called Faith. Now, during this video, we talk about spiritual disciplines that help us. And one of those is solitude. So to get your mind in the right spot, watch the video. It's short. Go to the free resources, click on it, sign up, get the video, watch it. Meanwhile, I want you to decide what time of day is best for you to spend 15 minutes every day this week in solitude. We're going to start out small. Now, it's, it's not going to be easy if you've never done this before. I know it's just 15 minutes, but I want you to give it a shot. Maybe take a quiet walk on your lunch break or sit in the park or close your eyes and just be by yourself. Try to get away from people. I know it's hard if you're in a heavily populated area, but just try to do this. Don't take music. Don't take books. Don't even take your Bible. And for please, please, please don't take your cell phone. Just get quiet. For 15 minutes a day and see what God does. Now you're going to have to schedule it. You can do early morning, lunchtime, late afternoon, bedtime. It really doesn't matter. Just dedicate that time to God alone. Just try it. See what God tells you. So if you're in this with me, you're interested in this topic, you want to learn more, go on this journey with me through the month of May. This journey of being intentional about solitude and retreat. And hey, I'll catch you next Monday right here on the Men of Iron podcast. Peace.